Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our review and we are going to take a listen at the fan noise on the HD6670 from Asus and uh, Asus actually has a fanless version of the HD6670 but this is the HD6670 which has a display port and it actually is actively cooled by a dust proof fan similar to the other uh, fan implementations from other Asus video cards but, uh, we are going to use this GPU tweak utility if you've seen our previous review and actually this is the first time I've used it on an AMD card I've, I've for my previous reviews I've used it on the direct CU cards but it, the GPU tweak utility is a superior program over the previously uh, used smart doctor software that Asus bundled with their video cards actually this card also comes with smart doctor on the driver CD but I prefer using this latest software from Asus which is much more effective this actually can be downloaded through uh, the GTX 580 Matrix Platinum download page on Asus website although I would love I would like to see it in uh, downloadable in other sections of the video cards and from their site as well but uh, so right now at the time of this review that's where you can grab this software for download and as you can see it has a built-in GPU-Z function click on the info button right here on the left side bring up and you can see the Turx uh, this is a Turx GPU and it comes factory overclocked by slightly uh, about 10 megahertz over the reference 800 megahertz HD6670 and also this is the GDDR5 versions uh, if you're looking in the market for a HD6670 just be aware that there are GDDR5 versions and there are DDR3 versions of so obviously the GDDR5 versions are superior in performance over the DDR3 versions and the DDR3 versions actually cost less although uh, some what some manufacturers have done is they overclock those and offer it a, a, around the same price as some of the DDR5 so depending on what you are going to use it for uh, you should just uh, educate yourself on uh, which type of HD6670 you will be using and uh, for example you can use it as an HD PC hence uh, we are going to take a listen to the fan speeds various fan speeds if it is acceptable depending on, uh, on your taste and uh, right now is in 39% which is effectively 40% fan speed I'm going to set this to manual and crank it up by 5% until we reach uh, 50% and then we are going and I'm going to crank it up by 10 percent until we reach 100 percent so uh, right now the video card is 21 feet sorry, rather 21 inches away from the camera and it's in, it is inside an AMD uh, rather an Inwin Dragon Slayer Micro ATX case and I have set the fans uh, the CPU fan and the chassis fans on the BIOS to silent mode so you'll only hear well you should, you should still hear some ambient noise coming from the CPU fan itself but uh, the dominant no, uh, fan sound you should hear is from the GPU so I will crank this up now and take a listen Alright, uh, from 80% to 100%, the fan noise is 
at its highest and actually I couldn't tell the difference between 80% to 100% but uh, thankfully it was, it was still fairly quiet around the 55% mark and only became really audible once it reached 60 and uh, and 70%, 70% much more than 60%, it became exponentially louder after that. So uh, thanks for watching and continue with the rest of our review. The link is at the bottom if you're inter interested in reading the rest of the benchmarks. And thanks for watching.